all right welcome back um this is going to be a review of this thing the the one alien you can get it on aliexpress for about i think 40 dollars okay. now uh the way i'm going to structure this video is we're going to have five parts um and the way I'm going to do all reviews from now on, we're going to have five parts. Each section is going to be uh, about an aspect of the balancing. It's going to have a ranking out of 10 for each section. Uh, so that's five sections, five ranks out of 10, total out of 50. That way you can compare things at the end. So those five things are going to be how it looks, the aesthetic, uh, the tolerances. So, you know, um, if it's got any tap or play, um, how it flips, obviously. Uh, how it sounds because personally i think that's a big thing um i don't know how much other people think that is uh you know useful information but i personally think it is and then um kind of like a price is it worth the price at the end because if you're getting you know bushings and uh good grip and great fifability for forty dollars uh, that's obviously worth worth the $40, whereas if you're spending 80 for something that should be worth 40 that score's not going to be very good. Alright, so straight into it with the aesthetics of this battle song. Um, this is the trainer version, and so I'm only going to be talking about the trainer version, but I'm going to set, start off with the bad points, I guess, because uh, quite obviously not an amazing looking battle song if i'm honest uh, it definitely stays true to its alien name it kind of looks quite alien in its design uh, especially how the handles go it's, um, thinner like this and it's got like this uh, jumping here now it's an ugly knife personally that's what i think um it's not a very maybe it's just because it's silver and i don't like silver as a color i prefer more colorful things but I don't think that this thing should score very highly on aesthetics. It's got jimping, which does work, and I'll talk about that later in flippability. But um, quite honestly, if you look at the blade, or you know the trainer blade, um, what is that for a design? I'm sorry, you couldn't have been less creative. It's really, I don't know. How even the even the uh, the simple stuff like Squid Industry Squid Trainer, which is literally just two lines and a dot, uh, looks better than this. I don't know what they were thinking, if I'm honest. Um, as for the colours that it comes in, you have this silver, which I'm not a fan of, but I can appreciate why you would be. Uh, I know a lot of people do like silver as a colour, uh, and it looks clean and stuff. And I mean, they're not wrong, that's for sure. But uh, personally, I'm just not a huge fan of of silver balls. So they also do blue, and then they do uh, black. And as far as I know, that's all the colours, unless someone's anodized it something else. But uh, I don't think they have. So they're the colours you can buy it in, at least. So I think I'm going to give it a score of uh, aesthetics of about. We'll say. If five is a average, this is uglier than average. So this is gonna get a score of a three. It could be worse. It could be like the Squiddy clones or the, Alex, or the uh, Amazon clones, you know, the really bad ones. Um, we're gonna go with a three. So not starting off well. Okay. So the tolerances. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say it, this thing surprised me. When I first got it out of the box uh, from the post, when Jake sent it to me, it had loads of tap, um, had loads of play, and I was like, you know, this is not it. This is not worth the money purely because the tolerance is so sloppy and the bushings were so oversized. I thought, you know, there's no way that uh, this is going to be a pain in the ass to tune. Now, I couldn't have been more wrong. There was, I guess it had just come loose in the post or something, um, but the screws were really loose. And as soon as I tightened it up and added some lubricant, um, I swapped out one of the bushings. And that wasn't because it was dramatically oversized and had tons of tap. It didn't even have tap. 
I was just having a look around in the, the spare hardware just to see if there was anything better. Uh, so I did no sanding, nothing special with the tuning. Just swapped out um, a washer, uh, sorry, two washers and a bushing because I was looking through the hardware to see if there was anything better. Um, and this thing couldn't be more perfect. That's play. Look at that. Could you even call that play? There's nothing there. Um, here's tap. Nothing, completely silent. In terms of tolerances, this thing really surprised me because all I did, like I said, was tighten it up and it had no tap, very minimal play. Swapped out a bushing, no tap, no play at all. So uh, this has honestly really surprised me, especially for the price, because it's bushings and great tolerances out the box. I think I'm gonna give this a very high score in terms of um, tolerances. I'm gonna say probably a nine, because if we're if I'm honest, this has got to be one of the best tolerance knives that I've had out of the box without like extra tuning or doing washers, uh, sorry, doing bushings, like sanding down bushings. You couldn't get more perfect than this, I don't think, except maybe, you know, if it was out the box, because it came loose in the post, which means the screws must be, must back out ever so slightly over time. So I can't give it a 10 out of 10, but yeah. You can't get much better than this. This is a solid object. Uh, I know Ryder likes to use that expression. There's no movement at all. This is completely solid. So a nine out of 10 for, uh, for tolerances. Flippability. This is another area where the, uh, the alien has a victory for flippability. This is a very, um, don't know. Very neutral. I'd say it's almost a perfect neutral. It flips amazing. Um, and this is down to design, I guess. Uh, if I show you, see the handles, how they go in. And I'll touch on this later. You have all this weight at the end. And then same for the, the blade. You have a lot of tip weight here. And this makes fanning uh, very, very clean. You, you might have seen when I do these uh, palm fans, they go forever. It's because it holds its momentum so well. And because it's a perfect neutral, it is very easy to flip. There's no, no issues picking this up and flipping it very well. Um, like I said earlier, this jimping here is in the perfect spot for chokers. And up here, perfect spot for getting grip for the fans and maneuvering it around, you see? It's exactly where your fingers are. When you're doing chokers, I don't know whether you can see that, exactly where your fingers are. This could not be better jimping, I don't think. Although it's not all the way across uh, the handle, it's not all the way across here. It provides wet, like, definitely provides enough grip. You, you're not gonna have any problem gripping when doing chokers or when, uh, what do you call it? Or when like maneuvering fans and things up the top. The downside to this would be, for flippability, would be these handles come, becoming thinner. Uh, I can see if you're a beginner, this is the first thing you flip. Uh, that might come in as a, a bit of a problem. It did take some getting used to, not a lot. I mean, you know, I was flipping it fine within maybe an hour, maybe even less, half an hour. Oh, shit. It's just something that's different about this power song. Uh, but I think you can definitely get good with it very, very quickly. Look at that. One thing I'd like to say is rollovers, it carries momentum very well because it's got um, weight in the ends, like I said earlier. It chaplain's very, uh, very sticky. If I quickly do uh, like a, a middle finger chaplain on this. You know, I don't even have to worry about it falling off. 
it's not going to come off. I can go as fast as I want. No problems there. This thing is very sticky for chaplains. Even the underhand is pretty good for that as well. Now, we'll just sit and do some of these for a while. Just to prove how sticky it is. This thing flips great. Probably one of the best flippers that I've found on AliExpress so far. Definitely a, ooh, I'd say a solid eight, no, seven. Seven out of 10. Uh, the only things, the only reasons I'm deducting points is the thin handles make it difficult for beginners. So that's why it's a, uh, loses a point for that. I'm gonna say it loses a point for lack of jumping all the way across. Cause although I said it gives you enough grip, uh, that would be better, I assume. It always is uh, for ladders and things. If you're doing ladders on it, you lose some grip there cause you don't have anything on here or here. And then, uh, I don't know, I'd say that's about it. They're the only reasons to deduct points, but we're gonna give it a seven because it's above average, that's for sure. But I don't think it is perfect 10. Okay, so for the sound of this thing, uh, you might have heard from my general flipping. Uh, this thing sounds pretty damn good. I'm gonna do a quick sound test now so you can see. It has no ring to it. You might have noticed just when uh, flipping. Jesus, that crow will not stop screeching. Um, there's no ring to it. It makes all the right clacking noises when you're generally flipping. It's not too noisy or like obnoxiously loud or ringy. Um, honestly, quite a satisfying sound to be honest. It doesn't make too much like vibrations, just the right amount uh, to not be annoying, but still have that kind of like satisfying sound when you catch the aerials. For 6061 aluminum, which is what this is, I don't think you can sound a lot better. I think maybe my Kraken uh, by the Arm Shark sounds better than this, but uh, I'd give it like a six or a seven. You know, it's not super glassy. It's not like uh, I've seen, you know, some Sphix Gales out there or other titanium options that just sound like super good. Um, some people like the ring as well, but I, I think this scores a six or a seven. Um, definitely, a, uh, you know, a good, uh, a good sound to it. Okay, so um, price to performance, I guess. $40, this is on AliExpress. You're getting oh shit, a knife that flips very well with bushings and quite good bushings at that. Ooh, almost dropped it. You're getting pretty good tolerances. I think the success rate of the One products uh, in terms of having good tunable bushings that will not be undersized is very high. Um, and if you do get a bushing that's not perfect, chances are it's gonna be oversized, usually from the one. So uh, at least that's tunable and you can get it out. I think you're getting something that flips amazing. And when I say this flips amazing, I mean, it honestly couldn't flip this much, be uh, much better than this. This flips better than my squid trainer, uh, better than my Kraken Klein, um, both the Bally Plus one and the uh, the um, Arm Shark one. I'd say it compares to the Falcon, which is, you know, 
this thing's brother, basically. Um, a lot of the One products share kind of like a... Well, I mean, you know, they're all designed by the same person. So this is very similar to the Falcon, actually, if I was to compare it. But yeah, worth of $40? I'd say definitely. The only knife that I could say is maybe better than this for the price is, uh, is its brother, the Falcon. And even then, I think this thing flips better than the Falcon. It's just uh, the, as the aesthetics of the Falcon and maybe the, uh, what do you call it? The fact that the handles aren't skinny, it's probably more beginner friendly. But price to performance, I would say is a definite, a definite eight or nine. I'm gonna go with nine for this one. Um, no, I'm gonna go with eight. I don't wanna to be too forgiving on this. But I'm basing this off something like my squid trainer, let's say. And the performance you get out of that for, um, what is it, $130, $140 for a squid trainer. Now, this thing is massively cheaper. And if anything, I enjoy flipping this more than my, I flip my squid trainer. While it's not as good materials, in fact, it is actually relatively similar materials uh, and an original design. I'd say this definitely scores a lot higher than that. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say nine. I'm gonna be nice to this. Uh, if the Falcon was a 10, this would be a nine. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this gave you the valuable information that you need. Sorry I couldn't compare it to the Falcon at the same time. Uh, that is the nature of borrowing balsams. I can't keep them forever, obviously. Um, the guy lending me this has been very nice and said I can keep it for a week or so. Uh, so you might see this again in another video, but just because it's so nice to flip, I'm keeping it nice for him, uh, only flipping over grass. You might see I dropped it quite a bit, but this is very soft grass, this is, and uh, no scratches or dents. But yeah, um, I'll be reviewing the Bally Plus Kraken and the real Kraken as well as a Bally Plus Triton in the coming days. So look out for that. I'm gonna be using the same reviewing system. So you'll be able to compare them all based on my opinion. See ya.